I am wearing the NeuroSky MindWave Mobile. It is a device that can literally read your mind, and then it brings that into the computer, and then can do a bunch of different things. It can play games, you can record meditations. There's a lot of different things, and there's a lot of different developers and applications that can connect to this device and use the different meters and the different brain waves that it picks up on. So. Right now, I've got the Brainwave Visualizer application open. This is a great basic application that comes with it that is an output showing exactly what is going on with your brain at any given time. So this right here is the live representation of my brain and my brain waves. The MindWave Mobile focuses on three main points in order to basically control any of the applications. There is the attention meter, there's the meditation meter, and then there is a blink recognition, uh, recognition area. So with attention, that records how focused you are. A lot of tips and tricks that we found helpful were counting back from 100 back down to one, or just focusing on a single thought without letting our mind wander, and that helped really put the attention meter up. With meditation, it's more about relaxation. So kind of taking deep breaths, letting your mind wander and thinking about multiple things, closing your eyes, all of those things help with meditation. And then blinking just really easily picks up on any blinks that you have. So using a combination of those different meters, you're able to control different games, different applications, and really use your mind to interact with your computer. So let's take a look at one of the games that comes bundled with the NeuroSky um, Brainwave mobile software. This is a game called Zombie Pop. The premise of the game is using your mind to get medicine and kill off zombies. But like I said, because there's only three inputs, it is kind of a very basic game. So when you start, you have zombies that come on. You can look at their mind in the x-ray. You have to focus, and then when you blink your eyes, that moves to the next one. So I'm blinking a lot right now, which is why they're all falling down. But if you prevent blinking, actually this one I need to. And that's the basic game. Uh, it has a feel very much like kind of the mid 90s. It's kind of an older feeling game in terms of animation, gameplay, everything else. It's interesting because you play with your mind, but that's about the only real hook. It doesn't really have much staying power, and you're probably not going to be sitting there playing this for hours.